Um, well, ever since I could dress myself, I've been dressing like a boy all my life. I would go straight to the G.I. Joe's, not the Barbies. Um, honestly, I think I've always known, but I actually decided that I was probably around seventh grade, so I guess I was like 13 or so. Some people don't necessarily have the support that I've had. They don't have that feeling that it's going to be okay. Because I couldn't really go to anybody. I couldn't even go to my parents. I mean, I talked to my girlfriend about it, but it was just, it wasn't there. Like, you have to wear this mask, and it just gets so tiresome, and it's like, you start to lose who you are too. Being fake to yourself, and just pretend you're happy to everyone else, or just accept who you are, and like, go out and like, be that person. So I was like, sophomore year, I was like, fuck it. I was just unsure of how I felt, because it seemed sort of like a permanent decision, you know? Like, if I tell everybody this is it, you know? But I guess I realized after a little while I can't really think of it like that, because it's not really a permanent decision. It's my life. Well, I knew I was going to tell my mom first, because she's my mom. She's probably the most important person in my life, so. Uh, well, all right, we were at this traffic light, and it was the longest red light I have ever seen in my life. I was actually telling her on the way to school one day, and um, I was just, this is after she found out that I had a girlfriend, so I'm just like, Mom, I really don't feel like a girl. I dress like a boy, I act like a boy, I want to be a boy. So, you know, I told her, Probably like 30 seconds passed that we just kind of like sat. She like took my hand and then as soon as we got home she gave me a big hug and was like, it's all right, I still love you, I will always love you. I've been happy with the friends that I've made, that the friends that have accepted me, the my school, my community that accepts me. I'm very happy with that and I appreciate that a lot. I feel like I've just been able to be more of who I am and I've had great I've had great coaches, I've had great family members, I've had great friends who I can really just be me around. If there's one thing that I really got to say it's you know is just make sure you know, make sure that's what you want, make sure you know you're sure of yourself and really find that one person who you know is gonna be okay with it, you know, make sure there's that one person who will be accepting, and then it only gets easier from one on. So I would say advice to anyone would be stick to yourself. Be yourself, be who you are, be who you know you wanna be, and if you're not who you wanna be like I am, then do your best to change it and stay strong throughout the whole process. There will be breakdowns, there will be moments of depression, but don't let that break you. You should break it and get over it and get through it. Like a man. <laughs>